What's your current Charmy? Where you at? Your motivation guy is back. You know, season five is itching closer and closer. And ladies and gentlemen, you know what that means, right? In today's video, all right, we're gonna be going over a bunch of things that we wanna see coming to Fortnite in the upcoming season. Are you guys ready for this? And as usual, all right, if you're struggling to improve at Fortnite, or if you just wanna get an edge going into season five, then you have to check out ProGuides.com where you can get linked up with the pro coach right now. As in like right this second, guys. You guys gotta check it out. And with that out of the way, Let's get right into this thing. Let's get this going. So the first one is more for the competitive community, but I'm sure most of you guys can agree with me when I say that duels has always been one of the best game modes in Fortnite, right? Trio FNCS went really well this season and the community loved it. And since the reintroduction of a few duo tournaments, the community has been absolutely ecstatic. So there is this certain vibe with duos, right? Like, I'm not sure if you guys feel the same way where it's very skillful, it's fun to watch, and there are multiple players per team, and it's really just a very easy game mode to follow and watch. So overall, it's just a great overall game mode, and the community has been loving it, so we're definitely hoping for some more duo tournaments in the upcoming season. So there's no doubting that skill-based matchmaking has had a pretty rough impact on a lot of our enjoyment of Fortnite. In all honesty, to be real, it's just not a good time when you have to go into every game nervous, and you have to try your absolute hardest every single time you get on, and it's just really not healthy for the long-term survival of Fortnite. You know, moving into the next season, it would be really nice to see either a, a removal or a revamp of skill-based matchmaking. That way, wins can feel rewarding again for newer players, while skilled players will not have to feel like every single game is like a sweat fest in public matches. After all, like Arena is there for the higher level players and putting newer players up against all bots really isn't gonna help them improve, right? And it just really makes them feel like wins are being handed to them in the end. So, some adjustments to skill-based matchmaking would definitely be a welcome change. So, another change that not many players have mentioned, but one that's absolutely absolutely genius is Fortnite offline mode. Okay, so offline mode is a pretty simple concept, right? It's an offline version of the game where you have two options, creative or normal matches. So in normal matches, you'll obviously be matched with all bots since you're offline. And in creative, you're gonna be able to just free build or possibly even connect to other players in your vicinity. Sort of like a LAN connection. And, and since the game mode would be offline, every player would have access to play on zero ping. And overall, you know, there's really not much downside to this. This would be great as an optional choice for players who may not have had very good internet, who want to practice against bots, or who just want to experience zero ping as a lot of us haven't been able to try it out before. So while it's a bit of a long shot to have Epic actually add a whole new mode, it would definitely be a welcome change. So this is another quick change that we've been asking for quite a bit, you know, but a very important one that many players have been wanting for a long time, and that change is more LTMs. So there have been a few cool Marvel LTMs this season, but honestly, we haven't really seen much else. LTMs are a great way to keep the game fresh and also offer players a unique experience apart from the normal game, which to be honest, does quite get a little boring at times. So there have been some fan favorite LTMs in the past, which would be amazing to see again. We've got Solid Code, One Shot, Food Fight, Air Royale, Wix Bounty, Slide, and Wild West, just to name a few. All of these LTMs added a ton of fun and unique experiences to the game back in chapter one, and there's really not much downside to adding them back temporarily, right? All right, so just imagine, like, how many more people would be playing consistently if they did weekly LTMs like the ones we've seen in the past? Those were always amazing and would really add some of that spark back to the game for a lot of us. And please, bring back Food Fight if you guys can. Seriously, that LTM was a lot of fun. All right, do you guys remember that with the burger versus tomato teams where you had to destroy the other team's base? Those were the days. So let me know in the comments like if you guys remember that LTM. Fourth up on our list is a big one, man, and that's an arena revamp. So there's no doubting that Fortnite's arena mode is a bit rough around the edges, right? Like once you reach Champions League, there's really no going down from there and you've already gained all the benefits. So it really just turned into a bit of a W key fest. With Fortnite competitive growing and growing and growing, like we think it's about time for some changes to be made to arena. What do you think? 
Whether it's incentives to win, like right, or, or a higher threshold for the top divisions or anything of that nature. Like we just want to see a little bit more, you know, in competitive arena game mode where we could just get some stacked in games and just really play with the purpose. And speaking of arena, like if you're looking to rank up and gain more points, then be sure to go check out ProGuys.com where you can get a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with a pro player who can help you start ranking up and improving at the game like way faster. All right, next up, I want to talk about some loot pool changes that we love to see in public matches. So some of the items that gave Fortnite its spark in the early days were the fun and silly ones like balloons, you know, boogie bombs, shopping carts, quad crashers, and, you know, things like that. I mean, even the bush. These items really made Fortnite a unique and fun experience like no other, and unfortunately, the loot pool is feeling a little bit dull at the moment. So one of the biggest things that I want to see personally in the next few seasons of Fortnite are some of these fun and unique items, right? But specifically in public matches, don't mess up competitive with these items but you know make them available for casual players in public matches and those are the players who you know really are missing out on the fun this season with the loot pull that's just pretty dull so adding these og fun items or even some new items would really add another unique aspect to your typical fortnite gameplay and the addition of some of this stuff to public matches would also bring back a lot of that spark and make the normal players experience just way more fun and memorable and finally the last thing on our fortnite season 5 wish list is going to be a a little bit more of communication from epic <laughs> okay so ever since chapter 2 started epic has been like way less hands-on with communication apart from you know occasional memes on twitter and some creator patch notes you know which hardly give any information really like we've really heard nothing from epic over the past year or so i would seriously like to see an actual return of patch notes to fortnite there's really nothing wrong with just letting the community know what they should expect in the game along with letting the competitive players know the more in-depth changes like web weapon balances or POIs and things like that. I really just don't see the benefit in making the whole community have to search around and figure out what's changed. You know, it just makes it more difficult for everybody and it doesn't seem to contribute anything to the average player. All right, so think about this, man. Like if you played in chapter one, do you remember the feeling of just waking up on a day where you're gonna be updated and you just instantly get up to read the past notes and see what's new? Like that experience is definitely something to remember, right? But nowadays that excitement is gone for almost everybody. So not only are their updates a little bit boring, usually, but where there is an exciting update, almost none of us even know about it because we don't hear a peep from Epic about it. So I'm not trying to be negative, all right? I am your motivation guy. <laughs> but a lot of us have definitely been just a little frustrated with the lack of communication from Epic this chapter. And, you know, while they've been doing a bit better with it recently, it'll still be nice to see proper patch notes, you know, competitive updates and simply just some transparency and simply just kind of some realness about what's going on behind the scenes. All right, guys, that's going to be our list of everything that we want to see in season five of Fortnite Battle Royale. All right, in the comments, let me know if you guys agree with these picks. And, you know, if you want to add anything else, that is totally, totally fine. You know, there's always a possibility that someone from Epic is watching and you just never know if they might be paying attention to this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel and a uh, bunch of crunch army where you at. Your motivation guy is back and I'll see you soon.